dining hall was full of people, like the old days. It smelled like roasted goose. For a moment, I was happy. Then suddenly, I was alone again. The world had become cold and dark. I felt my own death rising up around me. floated past chunks of the house I built, or started building. Scarcely ten years later, and the whole... I was at a funeral. My own, as it turned out. No one was there, except you. I saw my monument, my last hope of leaving something that would live on after me, and I began to walk towards it. And with each step I took, I got larger. I just kept growing and growing like a teenager. Oh. With a gentle push, my mind crumbled and sank. I saw my life's work laid out in front of me. Soon it would crumble into dust or be painted over by someone who would come after me the same way I painted over what was here before me. ended, I knew that everything I'd made was over. And as I sat there, looking out into the darkness, I thought back on all the things I'd built and left unfinished. I realized something. I wasn't sad that it was all gone. I had fun making all that stuff. I would have done it anyway. And then somehow I knew that when I woke up, all my work really would be destroyed. And that's when you showed up. I don't know how you got here, but I'm glad to see you. I have something for you. This brush isn't mine anymore. My work is over. It belongs to you now. I hope it makes you happy and that someday they will say, he is a better man than his father. That door will take you anywhere you want to go, but leave quickly, child. None of this will last for long. And that night, even though he was very tired, Monroe did something that would have made his mother very happy. He painted. <laughs> 